The job hunt is stressful enough without people asking you things like, How's the job search? How's the job you search? Job? You Why can't you be more like your sister? So lucky you, I'm here to guide you through this jungle of regret with a list of items that you can buy at your local grocery store that'll surprisingly help you navigate your way to your next nine to five. Okay, so before you actually start your physical search, you may not be too sure how it initially may go. So, so to make this a little easier, I suggest getting some of these. A lot of people wanna have these, but they're way too high. So I highly recommend these ones down here. So once you actually go out in the world and start looking for work, you might hit your first initial snag, which is a uh, qualifications. Chances are most of these spots require you to be 20 years old, but also have 13 years of work experience. And since you weren't born in Bangladesh, this might be a problem. And one thing you could try is being 10 years older, but what a lot of people like to do is just trying to get a degree. In, in fact, that's what I'm personally doing, uh, but it's, it's going to set you back like, like, like $40,000. Now a good way for paying for this is by getting a job, which is pretty backwards and backhanded if you think about it. So I recommend having some sense on hand, not to help you pay, but because this doesn't make any. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How, how am I, how am I paying for it? Hey babe, what's up? Hey mom, hey. Um, How is my school getting paid for? What do you mean, how is school getting paid for? I mean, how am I giving the university a uh, $40,000 for uh, four years of edu education. Your loans, sweetie. I'm sorry, what? You don't remember? You owe $43,000. Don't forget to add on interest for the unsubsidized loans, plus what you took from the bank. Then there's the plus loan. Okay, so thankfully I've just figured out a very solid workaround that'll really help us solve uh, this situation. <laughs> All right, looks like you've actually found some candidates that you're actually willing to work for. And you're about to apply to like, like, all 13 of them. Now, as you start your application, you may get a quaky feeling in your stomach looking at some of these questions. Possibly some negative thoughts that you won't be good enough for that you'll start to hate your job. But this isn't anything to worry about and is commonly known as foresight. Now, going through all 21 applications, you may see questions asking about references and specific skills and why you should be considered for the job. And because of that, I like usually to purchase a comforter, like something thick and durable, really comfy for all the lying you're about to do. This is also applicable for other questions aimed around figuring out how positive you are, how excited you are to work, how well you get along with people. Look at that, you finished all 34 applications. And oh boy, if you did everything right, you'll just have to wait two to 32 business days and oh look at the phone, it's ringing. It's time for schedule that interview. <laughs> Which most people tend to stress about naturally, but it's possibly one of the easiest parts. It really just comes down to being ready for what questions are about to come your way. So let's go through some questions and see if we can't find some items that'll help us be more prepared. What made you want to apply for this job in particular? So for this question, the interviewer is usually trying to see what your motives are for applying for the job. And if you have a genuine passion for the company and and how much you truly care about what they're trying to do. Uh, so for questions like this, I personally suggest getting a pooper scooper so you don't soil your own fingers when you give them your giant load of bullshit. Name an instance where you blank. Oh, okay, so a scenario question. This is a chance for the interviewer to see about how you handle certain under pressure situations. So let's head on over here to the makeup aisle because that's what we're gonna be doing. And surprisingly enough, uh, and you wouldn't see it now, but a lot of men in, in this aisle, contrary to popular belief, because we do this all the time. Uh, and, and you know, while we're here, tell me a little about yourself. And we're gonna go ahead and grab that concealer. Where do you see yourself in five years? Now this, this, this is a really good question, you know, and it's one that takes a lot of deep personal thought and self-reflection. So we're just gonna head over here and you know, you, you don't even have to buy this for real, but you know, we're just gonna look into this mirror and just look deep into it to see if we can, uh, wait. Uh, and there it is. Yeah, there you go. And whoop, there you go. You should have all the items you need at this point. Hopefully with these, you'll be in a good spot. And from here, it's all about waiting on that call. Now, for just a reminder, this guide for finding work isn't for everybody. In fact, you can make some substitutions. For example, you could substitute every item on this list for a camera and a totally not stolen version of Premiere Pro and try to make creative YouTube videos in your local Walmart about things you hate like finding a job and a long shot hope that in time it becomes a job. So despite if you decide to make any substitutions or not, it doesn't always work out for everybody. So just in case, someone to put all the time you just spent. What's up y'all? Sorry, I'm looking so scraggly. Um, every time I work on a video, it's just auto, no, no, no shave, no trim, no take care, nothing. It's, 
it's bad. If you like this series, let me know in the comments below. I tried something different. I thought it'd be pretty cool. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section below if I missed any items that would uh, help me um, when finding a job. Not sure about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.